All right, guys. Something uh, exciting came in for the Porsche today. I was actually in the, in the video, in the middle of making the video for the E36, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and install this uh, exciting mod that came for the Porsche. Well, I think that's what it is, but uh, we're gonna open it up uh, and check it out. All right. So uh, as you guys uh, can see from the box already, GT4 duck spoiler. Um, I ordered this. And I had them paint it, color match the car. So it took a little while um, for them to actually paint it. But when, once they shipped it, it came here really, really fast. I think it was only um, maybe like a week. All the way from Hong Kong. So it took them a while to get it painted. But once I got it painted, they shipped it out super fast. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and see how this thing came out. Hopefully the paint looks great and it's, it's the right color. So we're about to find out. All right, so I got it opened. This is how it comes packaged. And this was um, $499. That's including them paint matching it to your car. I think so, I think it was $400. And then it was an extra $100 for them to paint it. Oh, it comes with new hardware. I mean, I don't even know how to, how to install this, but in this video, we're all gonna learn how to install this. So I just pulled it out the packaging and the paint is amazing, it looks great. So we're gonna go ahead and try to put it on. There's another piece that came with, it came with a little bottom tray piece. So I think, take that one off, you put the new tray piece on and then this attaches to it. So we're gonna find out. And this is the bottom piece. They painted it as well. It looks super clean. So let's get into this install. All right, so you need a T20. You can kind of see right there. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's a total of six. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out and I'll show you guys the next step. So that's the old one. So there's only one, two, three, four, six, six screws holding it in. And now we have to take off this bottom part. I think it's held in by two nuts. I'll find out the size for you. And then we remove this, install the new tray on and the new spoiler. All right, so for this, um, these two nuts right here, it's a 13 millimeter. This comes straight up with the washer on it. And that's it. That's how you remove the uh, old spoiler. And now we're gonna install the new one. So first, you're gonna to wanna to place it on. You're gonna put the nuts on there, but leave them loose enough so you can adjust it because it leaves a lot of room for adjustment so you can get the perfect fit for your spoiler. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the spoiler down 
and then we're gonna make sure everything's lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, new top part of the spoiler. All right, so the first time I put it down, you can tell that I need to move it over this way a little bit. Make the gaps nice and even. You can see uh, how this part's a little closer. And also, it needs to come back so it can sit flush here. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything up and uh, let's get this thing installed. Hope we don't move when I tighten it. Uh, try it on uh, once again before I tighten it but I tighten it down but I'm gonna uh, test it on again make sure it's correct all right that's good I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring the spoiler back up and then I'm gonna put the bolts underneath so just um when you're tightening the bolts down for the, for the little spoiler tray just make sure you tighten it as slowly as you can without um, moving it um, so that when you put it back on, it's in the right spot that you left it in. Alright, so um, the spoiler, the new spoiler came with new hardware. Um, looks like Allen, Allen heads. I'm not sure what size. I'll let you guys know what size they are. But uh, we're going to use this to install the new spoiler. Alright, so I got the uh, 530 seconds Allen head. Fits perfect. That's what we're going to be using to install the new spoiler. Tighten them down. Just going to get them hand tight. Um, get all them in there. Make sure everything's straight. And then I'll go ahead and tighten it down. The spoiler has so much more hardware than the uh, OE one. So far, everything is lining up really good.
All right, all the bolts are in. Um, surprisingly, everything lines up really well. Um, everything went in how it should. So I actually uh, recommend this uh, spoiler. I dropped the link in the description. Um, I hear a lot of things about the spoilers not lining up right or a lot, a lot of modifications need to be done to fit them. And this one fits really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten um, tighten the spoiler down. Just make sure you don't tighten it too hard and crack the material. Um, just nice and snug, it should be just fine. That's it. Uh, it looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks great. All right, so one more thing I wanted to do for the video. I just came up with this idea like a couple minutes ago, but uh, I wanna wrap the uh, reverse light. Um, I'm gonna smoke it a little bit. Not a little bit, but I'm just gonna smoke it. So what you wanna do is, before you wrap it, just make sure it's nice and clean. And I'm not a rapper at all. <laughs> Both kinds of rappers. I don't know how to wrap anything, but I'm just gonna try because it's a flat surface. So, and if anything bad happens, it's just wrap, peel it off. All right, so got it nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the size, cut the size that I need. Make sure you cut a little extra so you have um, a little room to play with. And then I'll show you the next step. All right, so I got like a little piece cut out. I'm just gonna make sure big enough go ahead find the sticky side I don't think I'll need a heat gun because it's flat so we'll see hopefully this is as easy as I imagine it all right this is the sticky side I'm gonna go ahead and take it all off. And just line it up as best as I can.
Sit. <laughs> Got like a little bubble right here. Yep, yeah, looks pretty good. I think I'll keep it for now. <laughs>